The outrageous sins and abominations by the United States government and lawmakers like legalized abortion and promoting homosexuality have led America and her superpower past to her current irreversible downfall. However, America's body of 300 million people today are not in an irreversible mode, but still have time to change direction spiritually and stand upright before God. A crucial Bible principle found in James chapter 4 verse 4 describes a person's character saying, Friendship with the world is hostility towards God. And this is my prime point and based in James, that any person, including believers, whose character, speech, conduct, or attitude fails true Christ-likeness or compromises God's word is a worldly character and is hostile towards God. In fact, this is also America's exact character today, which has made friends with the world, which equates with hostility towards God. Many worldly and naive believers, even ministers, would respond right here saying, well, no one's perfect, we all sin. But this is a believer who doesn't know God's word, which requires true followers of Christ to grow into maturity, having squeezed out all sin and all worldliness from that believer's character. Jesus himself taught this, saying to his disciples, You are to be perfect, meaning mature in Greek, even as your heavenly Father is perfect. This is found in Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. This isn't a filler statement. The Lord meant this and is confirmed with many other New Testament passages like 1 Corinthians 15.34, which commands each believer to stop sinning, and Ephesians 4.26, saying, Be angry, yet do not sin just to name two passages. In fact, America's spiritual condition today is identical to the Laodicean Christians in Revelation chapter 3, who the Lord likened to vomit in his mouth. This is because they were lukewarm, and because of their wealth, they pushed Jesus completely out of their midst, leaving him shown in Revelation 3.20 as standing on the outside looking in, knocking on the door, waiting for anyone to hear his voice, and open the door, and invite him back in. Again, this is exactly America's spiritual condition today, being lukewarm and worldly, and not hearing his true voice. However, the Lord set the perfect example without any worldliness of character, saying, I am in the world, but I am not of it. God's word emphatically requires true followers of Christ to do the same. One example is 1 John 2.6, saying, The one who says he abides in Jesus ought to walk in the same manner in which he himself walked. In closing, James 4.4 accurately spotlights America as the world's number one country, second to none, of lukewarm Christianity, lust, greed, and worldliness of character from top to bottom, starting from its religious broadcasters like TBN, Daystar, and Atlanta 57, and their worldly ear-tickling ministers, and pouring right down through our society and into the ungodly character seen in today's younger generation too. But in a word, God is calling his people in America right now who hear his voice to a far greater call than just being an American, and that is to repent and to stand up right before God, having no spot or wrinkle in our character, as Ephesians 5.27 requires of God's glorious church being ready for Christ's return. However, until Americans, including believers in Christ, become willing to place God first and without any compromise, then that believer and America's character as a nation remain unchristlike and worldly, which the New Testament defines as hostility towards God.